Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 16 of Stoneblock, and I kind of sort of ran out of food and whatnot doing the uh, the chance cubes things. However, I did end up getting enough of the sextuple cobblestone. I was able to finally make the septuple, and I have a deep dark portal. Quest complete, and I can use my sword to warp between the travel anchors, so makes it even better. Uh, but, uh, there. We, I. Well, that was great. Let's, uh, let's put that back, and... There. <clears throat> so I've got a stack of torches. And, oh, wrong one. I want to go there. Let's see, I've got some food on me. But I've got... Eh, I'll just grab the other two of these and uh, let's see, I don't have mineral yet. Right. I get uh mineral saplings, I can craft them or I can sell them from dirt. So did I actually get mineral? I did actually, okay. Uh no, not you. That um oops. I can spell, honestly. I think these are the ones that are empty. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that for now, I think. And let me get the other ones out so I can actually remember to empty those. So bonsai pot. Let's just make a few of those. We'll make some, uh, let's make some wonderful hoppers here. And hopping bonsai pot. And for now. Oh, and oh, nothing yet. I will eventually get those full. But for right now, I'm just going to put grass in one of these. And then mineral sapling. Where's my time in a bottle? Uh, time. I put it away. And let's see if I can break things here. Give me this. All right. So six, and then we will. Uh, so I want to hit fastest mode. Yeah, that's that's pretty fast. Using a quite a bit of power though. Uh, you still have the the things. Here we go. I'm just gonna go until the time in a bottle effect wears off, and we'll see what we've got. Should really only be. There we go. Oh, uh, let's see. We got mineral shards, another sapling, 36 wood. We got some berries. I want to bring these with because I'm pretty certain. And you can go back in there, I think. Oh, I drained my flux capacitor. Whoops. Uh, back in you go. All right. So let's go ahead and drop that off because I don't really need to have it on me at all times. It's just fun every once in a while. So auto, the, uh, the automatic torches, whenever they place a torch, if you have any in your inventory, they will use that torch to basically refill themselves. I don't think they will grab mineral torches, though. So that way I'll be able to, to light up specific areas that I want to and let the, uh, the automatic torch take care of the, the broad effect. Empty a little spiral effect and there we go. Let's go with the deep dark. Let's see how bad this is. I'm going to guess eh, fairly bad. All right. So, turn you. Okay, no, come on. So one thing I like about these is to turn on, you actually have to right click it. But sometimes it's just like, yeah, no, well, uh, not gonna work. Should put jump boost on my boots. 
Oh, I'm out of power. <laughs> oh, and I can't do the home command, really? Oh, that's gonna... Uh, well, we'll just keep going for now. Actually, better not. Um... Because if I can't home, then I gotta be able to make sure I can get back from where I end up going. So, worst case scenario, I'm going to have to, like, basically pillar up here. I want a waypoint that tells me how to do that. And actually, while I'm here... Oh, nope, never mind. Wait a second. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go get my flux capacitor. Might be a good idea to have that. Well, uh, isn't this fun? What the heck? Uh, can I? Oh. Hey, build it. Oh, that's what's happening. Is my auto torch is like spazzing out. Okay, okay, okay. Turn off. Thank you. That's the sound I was hearing. Okay. Well, I gained access to the uh, to the surface. There's a gigantic sea of lava, one block thick. Thank God for that one. Yeah, let's just do that for now, I guess. Uh, we're level 200. Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Can I see? Oh, no. Don't throw that. Use this. Uh, can I see travel anchors? No. Right then. Alright, so we're at Y level 60. And... I'm not seeing anything. Well, this is, um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Ha, found it. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and not have a repeat of the creeper blowing me up as I get in here. So I was like 30 blocks off in each direction from, from the base spawn area. All right. Well, um, put that like so, I guess, for now. And, oh yeah, you're going to take a while. All right, so I decided, uh, you know, <laughs> no point in filling it up all the way. 800,000 is good. And uh, as long as my boots don't run out of power, I'll be able to safely get back here again. Because right now I'm just going to have to... Uh, Drop down a shaft. I also had to jump one to my boots because it took a piston and a wooden gear. It's like, yeah, it's not a problem at all. So I'll be able to jump, yeah, basically two blocks now. Which I can try out right here. Yep. And I get a spiffy little jump sound. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and turn that back on now. All right. There it is. I was going to say there's a phantom block there somewhere. And you can usually get around it by just right-clicking where you think the block is. So... I didn't know actually Edition's Caves would spawn in here. Learn something new every day. All right, we're going to uh, mark this up rather nicely. Because my current plan on getting out of here is to uh, use the travel function of my sword to get back up here. So if I go here, nope, there, torch. All right.
tree, and yeah, there's even even the crystal clusters. Hmm. Cool. And but cool. There's the crystal. All right, so zombies have 80 health. Not particularly great. And finally, I found shaders that work like they're supposed to in the deep dark. So let's get down, though. And kind of see what all we got here. I got clay. Awesome. Clay, iron, copper, so far. Looks like uh, pretty much standard stuff. And give me one sec here. Sorry, somebody at the door. My neighbors are getting pizza. And now that I saw that, I'm like, you know, that's actually a really good idea. It sounds good. So I'm probably going to, well, I'm going to seriously think about it after I get done recording. All right. Come on, put down torch. Thank you. And... Mine shaft. Okay, this is kind of what I was hoping for. Try and find something that I can... Uh... Oh, and there's even a chest right here. Alright, emerald apple's good. Um, I'm not even going to bother with that. I will grab the detector rail. Let's go ahead and drop some of this stuff off, too. And I need to do a better job of like, organizing all this. Uh, I'll just put that... There, and actually, water bucket, just in case. Although I do have a lava charm, so I'm pretty immune to all that. Eh, I'll take the wooden gears. Hey, you know what? Just give. The sword's going to rob a bunch of power from me, but... There we go. Alright, let's see if we can find any more now. Well, I found some cave spiders, and of course they spun in. Ow. Oh, that's right. I'm immune to poison, you little jerk. Oh, you get a hat on. And you've got googly eyes. Spiders with googly eyes are just awesome. Oh, look, you're dead. And broken spawner. Hey. Alright. But I saw a minecraft or mine yeah, minecart chest over here. Empowered three. I'm taking that just because it's got a free empowered three on it. I'll just do that. Now I can just kind of sit here. Uh, soul bound, I don't know, whatever. Melon seeds, not bad. Uh, pickaxe kit for forestry, okay. Vengeance spirit. All right, well, let's see. Oh, you died, good. Uh, come back if I find anything else. All right, I found a mining backpack. Cool. Overgrowth seeds, not bad. Um, a little bit of condensed blood's not a bad thing either. But let's see. Oh, that's right. Nothing range. Of course I have it. Try to bring up the uh, wireless terminal. It's like, yeah, no, not a thing. And. I mean, this cave, or not cave, but this mine shaft just goes on forever, too. I am rather liking it. And definitely tons of ores around here, which is... Uh, it'll definitely be useful in the uh, in the future. I'm not going to do a bunch of mining right now, because I'm, I'm kind of on the search for some loot. Uh, let's see. There we go. Now I can move. All right, sweet. And anything else down here? I am at white level 23. So I'm still slightly above diamond level, but I mean... This is a big mine shaft. <laughs> I'm loving it. 
Hmm. Maybe I should have installed uh, Young's Better Mine Shafts in this pack. That would have been awesome. But I'm going to keep looking around. Ah, uh, dang it. I was hoping that would go like down to diamond level and stay there. But I'm also on the, I'm on the lookout for spawners and, and minecart chests. And it looks like, yeah, it did end. So I will, uh, I will see what I can find. How did I put two torches down at once? That was really weird. Hmm. All right, what do we got? Oh, look, a broken shovel. So useful. Off my inventory is like full. All right, so uh, did manage to find another case spider spawner. And let's see. Then I also found there's one right, right there too. So we got another moving wand. Okay. Uh, I think that's like three or four of those now. Black Lotus got some rails, got a little bit of iridium, which is pretty awesome stuff actually. Uh, here, you go away before you drain my battery. And free food because, you know, oh, look at that. Oh, that's, it does that. That's right. Do not try to silk touch. Oh, hey, look. Uh, Moonstone. It does not work. Uh, Empowered 2. Yeah, I'll take that. It's pretty Empowered 2 upgrade, so... And... Heads or tails? Heads! Correct. And I just got something. A Faraday helmet. Okay, cool. Moonstone right there, too. Ah, uh, dang it. Yeah, it's one of those things like if you try to silk touch this thing, it just doesn't work like you know want it to. And I don't have anything else, though. And the silk touch is actually an enchant. Uh, let's try, I guess, axe. Yeah, that destroys it too. Okay. Well, lovely. Found two moonstones and can't use either of them. Well, I think I've cleared out pretty much the entire mine shaft now. I may be able to find any tunnels that don't have torches in them, so that's a good sign. Also, why did you do that? Like, stop. There we go. Yeah, the auto torch has been acting weird too. But, oh well, I mean, it's doing the job that I wanted to, so. But sometimes places down extras and then, yeah. But, so I'm going to head back to base. Um, I need to get actually started on some auto crafting stuff, I think. Alright, so we're back at base and I need to make probably at least another grid. Okay, I need a few things here, it looks like. Uh, let's see. Let's make like four of those for now, I guess. So I want to make a pattern grid, which means I'm going to need a few patterns. I'm out of glass. Oh, well, I will uh, deal with it in the future here. That is a problem for for future sign. And that's no, advanced. Uh, actually, I should be making like two of those, two of each core. And then I need a bunch of these. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figured I'd be out of the uh, the bindings. So let's make like a half a stack of these improved processors. Like so. And in you go. So you're doing good. You are doing excellent. Got tons of slime. Nothing in that one. A lot of acacia, a lot of oak. Not doing a whole lot here, though. Oh, cinnabar. So let's go ahead and grab some of these guys. Get ourselves. Probably going to need two grit. Oh, I'm out of glass. Um, 
Yeah, you done? You're done. Cool. Here, start working on that, would you? And now I need a pattern grid, which is... That's crafting. Pattern. And for now, you can just see here. I'm just going to have to... I need to set up an actual area for this. Uh, let's see. Portable would not be terrible, I guess. Pattern, fluid, and crafting. Okay, yeah, I've got all those. I need also a, the uh, crafting monitor. Like so. And I guess I can go there for now. This will show me any crafting jobs actually working. So uh, let's go ahead and click this over to only craftables. And we will look up. Uh, let's see. Patterns, right? If I can find them. <laughs> right here. All right. First thing first. Actually, I need, I need a pattern as well. I used to, well, I didn't use up all of them, but patterns go here, like, hey, that goes there, and then this just goes and slots into a crafter. Now I can actually craft patterns. So let me get a few other recipes set up. All right, so I've got a few things in here. I should be able to auto craft an actual crafter. And boom, done. Uh, that can live right there for now, I think. So one of the things I want to work on, though, is reborn storage. Crafting frames, heat conductors, crafting CPU, crafting storage. Probably an I.O. port would not be a bad thing to have. But these things will be basically a giant multi-block structure of these crafters, which should definitely help a bit. So let's see, crafting frame is all this wonderful stuff. Uh, we're going to turn on ore dictionary because I've got a few different types of silicon available in this pack. Heat conductor actually needs those crafting frames to make. Crafting CPU, I need advanced processors and speed upgrades and crafting tables. All right, so we are going to teach this thing. That is a crafting table. And then the, not the IO port, Actual crafting storage is going to require a chest of any of some site, you know, type there. And I'm going to teach it to use that recipe to craft chests with. So I get those guys into there and those into there. And now let's say if I want to make uh, crafting frames, like a stack of them, what do I need? I need a bunch of these basic processors, which need to run through a furnace. So, oh, speaking of which, like so. But yeah, actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. I've got an, getting an area, you know, carved out for this giant multi-block. And I need to actually get a real machine room. This is this has got me by so far. It's not going to work with auto crafting, though. But thanks for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series. And until next time, the sign signing out. Have fun.